Good morning, guys. Welcome to another video, Life of May May. I just decided to get on and record. I haven't did a video in a couple of days. Um, thank you, all 399 subscribers. I seen it last night. I've been up and down with these migraines. I did go in to have the migraine cocktail. So I'm going to set you guys down because I'm in the process of cleaning my house. So I'm in my second bathroom. But I did um, go have that migraine cocktail. But now I'm like really tired. I got a little pressure right here. It's not bad, but it's the dizziness. When I stand up too long, I get dizzy and then nauseated from time to time. So I did call my neurologist, which is my migraine doctor. I know all this stuff on you guys probably can't hear. There's air on. But I did call. So if I talk loud, that's why. But I did call my neurologist, which is my migraine doctor, this morning because I thought I could make it last night. I was supposed to go back last night, but I couldn't. So I did call and let them know that I'm going to need to go um, excuse for last night and tonight. So I definitely got to go back tomorrow. So you guys pray for me, please. I need it. And I hate getting down like this in these cycles because... Sometimes it's hard to come back and take longer. And I thought I'd be ready on Monday. But I wasn't, so the Lord's will. I had to stop by UPS store because I sent uh, copies over there to be printed so I can have a copy. And um, also, last Friday when I was out with you know, the migraines, I forgot I was supposed to renew my FMLA, so I did that this morning. I gotta go to my regular doctor, drop my paperwork, and my neurologist. So, just gonna do it. Um, yep, today is dropping off paperwork and hopefully picking up my husband's truck because his truck stopped again. Um, we had some work done last year on it for the same problem but it came back so hopefully they really fixed it this time so he said he couldn't get it in uh drive so it slipped so whatever that is if you're a mechanic you know you know i don't know but uh yeah so he's got my truck because i could have been when i did that been back here and i'm so hungry i don't want to eat anything but you know how when you know you're getting something from somewhere that you out of taste for it, you don't want to eat, but I'm gonna have to eat something before he come. He get off at three. Probably don't make it here till like 3.20. Probably later than that if we stop and buy McDonald's. But yeah, I'm gonna clean the house, get in the shower, just sit up on the couch until he get here. And we'll take care of my little arms. If I gotta take him to his truck, the Lewis will. I'll take him, drop him off first, then go do my little business, come back here. And I really want to try to go tonight, but I know how I'm already feeling. One more night. It's like uh, every time I go back too early, I have a relapse. Every time. So. What you guys been up to? Yeah, I had got some uh, sad news about one of my granddaughters last week, but she okay. Uh, you know, when you first get of age, it's hard to, to get going, but I think she got going. As far as um, her um, Getting the second job and trying to get the car and move at the same time. That's a lot. So, been checking on her. She says she's doing good. Checking on my daughter. Oh, they said they're doing good. And it's hard for me, you know, because, you know, we already knew this day was going to come, but we didn't know it was going to come this fast, but I did, like I was telling her. So, 
She is so funny. She's like, Granny, I'm going to be okay. I'm like, okay. It's like one of them things you got to get used to. I'm going to sweep this driveway. I felt bad, but I don't feel it. I don't feel like it. I'm going to cut that grass. I'm going to sweep it. Comment down below guys, do you have an issue with your husband or do you do that? Do you cut the grass and don't sweep the grass up? I thought you're supposed to. So guys, forgive me. I'm picking y'all up, taking y'all room to room. Because I'm disaffecting my doorknobs. So that's one thing though I can say I always did. I disaffect stuff even before COVID, excuse me, COVID came. I was real good about that. That's why it wasn't a change for me when it did come. And I'm using my Lysol. I'm cheap, guys. As long as it do what the regular one do, I'll get it. I read up on it first. Just like my wipes. Disinfecting. That's what I clean my toilet with. I don't use no sponge no more because that holds a lot of germs. And... I used to have two sponges. I forget which one was for which. And I don't like that cross-contamination. That's not me. So I can put this back. I got to sweep out this other bathroom. Then move on to the living room and kitchen. So yeah, guys, this weekend, what I got coming up is taking my mom shopping Friday. Her birthday, August 18th. We haven't heard something at the bowling alley at Woody's in Grand Rapids. So just a little family bowling night. And my daughter going to post it on Facebook in case any other, other family members want to come and hang with her. You know, it ain't a party. Just a little gathering. She'll be 78. I always want to acknowledge her because she done so much for me for us, me and my two brothers, and she continue on doing. You know, me and her so close. Couldn't ask for a better mother. I thank God every day. You know, some people can't say that. Some people can, but he blessed me with a good one. When he, when, when he blessed me, I'm going to sit you guys down. I got a sweet for you. encouragement, you know, a spiritual mom as well as an earthly mom. So the bond is there. I'm, hopefully, I'm like that with my God. Hopefully she feels like that. Matter of fact, go check out her channel. Family First, 1999. Um, she got over 3,000 Subscribers, she's going up, going up, going up. I'm just scared for these candles. I gotta blow them out soon. I'll be over here. I don't want no fire. Ooh. I should have been turned the chair on. So now I'm back in the kitchen. Set you guys down over here. Yeah, I just felt that I owed you guys a video. Just want to talk. And uh, let you guys know what's been going on with me. I'm getting there. Hopefully it's the last night. 
I can resume my life because these headaches, boy, when they come. Anybody who know, they know. Yeah, guys, um, I ain't been watching the news, but, uh, you know, I'm a YouTuber, as you can see, and I so happen to hear about this on It's Justine's World page, about some happened to some lady, um, the police, I guess, did some to her, opened and shoot her, and she did I guess she called the police. And um, she had a pot on the stove. She was grabbing it and they told her, don't grab it. And something happened. And he was saying that if he get in the office, um, whatever the cops do to anybody they stop, that's the law. That's not right. So I don't know. I really think I heard now about voting this year. Uh, I don't want my black cousins, brothers, uh, uncles. Well, I ain't got no uncles. They ain't happening, but anybody's family member to get caught up in that. That's that. How can you say that? That's not right. So, my devoted mission. She said, uh, press it, and I'm happy that. The vice president stepped up because I was saying that months ago. So I'm grateful and thankful for that. And she did step up. She probably didn't want to, but it's part of your job. You ran for it. I pray she get it. I pray she make a true change for everybody, not just a certain. Certain uh, click of people, everybody, every man and woman, child deserve fair rights. I don't care what type of money you do or don't have. That's just not right. Right is right, wrong is wrong. So God created all of us like in His image, not some of us because we got money or we got an education or we live a certain lifestyle. No, people are people, and we just pray that. The ones that's down, come up and stay up. You know? To make an example, like, that ain't no certain color. You know, we all bleed the same. That's why, if you is racist, you need to pray and ask God to deliver you. Get out of that, because that's going to take you nowhere. It's going to eat you up in the end. And uh, your life ain't going to be what God intended it to be. So I pray all the time without seats. That means without stopping to make me open. Because we all is bad and we all got good in us. Some of us don't never express the good. We always show the bad. It's like, why you want to live like that? I don't. I want to live in peace, love, joy. Peace, love, joy. And eternal happiness and financial stability. And spiritual blessings, earthly blessings. God keep his hands on me and my family. You know? That's what's important. Giving him his praise because he is the one and only. I love the Lord. I love the Lord. For me, we all got a testimony. I'm 
as you chew to God and chew to yourself, that's all that matters. Should be true to any and everyone because it should be an open book, nothing to hide. I don't have nothing to hide. God erased that years ago when He delivered me. And that's why I'm so thankful and grateful to somebody. Ain't no somebody. My Lord and Savior wished down to help me turn my life around. I wanted it, and He knew I wanted it. He was there to give me the tools and the knowledge and understanding. It was on my time. It was on his time. And you guys won't believe this, but I started something in my family. Yep. I started going to church first. I got delivered first. I'm not bragging. I'm just stating facts. And my other sibling, other cousins and Family members saw how good it was. They came on. We don't go to church like we used to, especially me. I was there every Sunday for Bible study, for the service, stay after and talk. I was in it. I'm praying on that. I can get back in it. There ain't nothing like when God touch you, touch you. Turn you around. Nothing. You got all the money in the world. You ain't got the Lord and Savior in your corner. It means nothing. Faith without works is dead. So I got to get back to it. And I'm claiming it. Those of you who in it and know, you know. Those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, pick up your word. Read it. It's free. Don't cost nothing. All the turmoil you live in, you don't have to live like that. None of us do. We got free reign, salvation. God give it to us on the daily. It's up to us to grab his hand and say, I'm ready. I'm going to stay ready. Even though I don't focus and do what I need to do, Right, it's this world. I'm going to stay ready because I know he ain't done with me yet. The best is yet to come. That's why I just look at the little babies that's being born. That's how all of us got Stay prayed up and suited with the full armor. Thank you guys outside that you guys see the weather. It's nice out there. I don't know how hot it is, but it must be pretty hot because it's warm in here. So, yeah, if you guys don't know, live in a trailer. We're comfortable here. It's just me and my husband. Nice size. We got three bedrooms, a two full bathrooms, laundry room, master closet, master bath. Then I have a second full bath. That's what I was in earlier. So, yeah, we, we're... We're comfortable here. Yep. It's my husband, man, cave. 
That's the picture of New York I took the other day. So yeah, we're comfortable. To God call us for something else. And it's quiet for the most part. It's clean. Just got this one guy that's still on the left. Ugh. It's like no, no matter where you move, you always got somebody that like junk that's dirty. I don't know why. I don't understand. Too much soap and water to be like that. But I had to give it to the Lord. No, I don't want to let another fly in here. You see how the sun's shining? It's beaming. It's beaming. Oh, I hope I'm dropped this trash. Gotta water this grass. Get back to that. So far, looking good, though. See this dry where I got to clean? Look at this. the candles over here. That almost blew out. Two more. Yep, guys. I'm trying to climb with my subscribers. I'm trying. That's why I need all you guys. All three ninety nine. Just run me up. I don't care a couple of thousand, and then I'll keep up my watch out. I want to get monetized so I can get paid because I really like doing this. You know, I'm a people person. A lot of people can't. A lot of people don't want to talk um, as much. A lot of people don't mind. I don't mind. It's just certain stuff I won't show and talk about, you know, because even as, you know, a public figure, nobody ain't going to know every single little thing about you but God, you know. So that's why you got to know how far to go. I thought I heard my phone ring. I was scared and stuff. Alright, so I got all that clinked up. Took my trash up. So everything's cleaned. So now I gotta go to my bathroom. And I'll be done. Yep, I could take a shower, come in the living room, fix me something to eat first. So, yeah, guys, not doing too much. Like I said, just was uh, up and just thought about you guys. Like, I know, um, whew, I won't push the wrong but yeah, just thought about you guys. Like, yeah, let me come on here and do a little quick video. Um, I showed you guys the cleaning products I use. I use scrubbing bubbles for my sink and bathtub and toilet. And I use Comet for the toilet and bathtub, not for my sink. Um, and I use these disinfectant wipes for my toilet. Because I'm going to use a sponge. I'm going to forget which one I use. And that's cross contamination. That's nasty. Well, I can use it for your sink, so I don't bother with that no more. Then after I do my sink with the scrubbing bubbles, I go behind it with the disinfectant wipe. 
You see me disaffected my doorknobs. And it take me like an hour or something. D depends. Sometimes I can do half because I don't feel good like today, but I feel better. I feel weak. That's the problem. I'm weak. So what I got to do is get better so I can go back to work and get my life. So I, great fun thing for she signed the paper for last night and tonight and that's it. No more. But this the uh the candle I was looking for. But, um, So yeah, guys. Um, I gonna uh, end this video. I might start another one when I leave. I don't know. Well, I just wait till tomorrow. I'm going to see my dad tomorrow. So forgot about that. Just thought. Of it. Yeah, I'm going to see my dad at the nursing home tomorrow. So, do a video of that on my way there. Can do a video. I don't mind doing a video of him, but it's like some stuff I don't want to, you know, put on him. So that's why I show him every now and then. So I thank you guys for the compliment when I do show him, guys. Um. Do um receive it, okay? Yeah, I'm finna bend down over here. I don't want you guys to like I'm not trying to be bending over like that on camera. So give me a second. I'm finna wash down this bathtub and shower. Water. I want to rinse away all my scrubbing bubbles and my um, Ajax comment. So used to my Ajax comment down below what household cleaners you use for your bathroom, your kitchen, and tables, the living room furniture. Comment down below. And let me know what you use. Cause everybody uses different stuff. Some people got their own concoction. It's cheaper and it works. It's better probably. And they do the same thing. I would like to know what you guys use to clean your bathrooms. And your dinette set. If you got marble. Kitchen counter. If you got for my cup countertops. Yeah, share. Because you know what? Some of the stuff I shared is some of the stuff they shared. I incorporated my cleaning routine, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that. Sometimes somebody can put you on and you be like, what? I didn't know you could use that for that. Like the shower hack. And I did it with the apple cider. Yeah, I got that off of TikTok, I think. Not for sure TikTok or YouTube. But that was a good one. I was buying the shower curtain every three months. And now I just keep up with the maintenance of it. And it works. Two of you to scrub these bubbles, you gotta let it sit for 20 minutes. That cuts all that grime and grit.
So give me a second. I'll show you guys the the um finished product I did. You know, get over here. You want to be bending over in the camera now? Okay, guys. I'm so hot. I heard I'm getting this shot. I think I can use my uh, body wash. It help, helps me to relax. Take a shower in. Huh? They got other. Um, they got other ones too. There's deep moisture, so. But yeah, this is the finished product, so my bathtub, shower, just did my toilet. So yeah, guys, thank you guys for tuning in. And I ask you guys to see how bad I'm sweating. Ask you guys to like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Um, I'm at 399. That's a blessing. Uh, one, I'll be at 400, but I want to be at a thousand or more, you know. Um, I'm a faithful content creator. I come on here and I give you guys what I got, even when I don't even feel like it. So that should count for something. And it's free to support the channel. All you got to do is take your finger, any finger, and smash that subscribe button, and you'll be subscribed. Tell a friend, tell a friend, family member, church member, co-worker, cousin, niece. I might, this channel might can help somebody, you know. You know, I'm just a regular, regular, regular housewife. Trying to sound uh, like Cardi B. I don't know. I just like how funny she is. But I'm just a regular housewife. Well, I'm not a housewife because I work but just a regular uh, woman, God-fearing woman, grandmother, wife, daughter, granddaughter, niece, cousin, you know, just trying to start her channel and just showing what I do every day when I'm doing something, you know, I pick the camera up. So, you guys like what's going on, comment, like, share, and subscribe. Positive comments only, please. You know, it's not easy picking this camera up. And I know people say, well, you shouldn't be doing it. You get what you get. No, that's not right. Because I'm coming on here with clean content. And I want the same in return. So uh, smash that subscribe button, that like button. And like I said... Um, I thank all 399 of you. You just don't know. I'm so thankful and grateful. And I pray we can just keep going up. Wake up tomorrow. I'll be at a thousand subs. And I'll be monetized. That'll be wonderful. Me and my daughter. My daughter got 3,000. 3, Point something. Please, Jesus. We've just, we just been praying over these channels that they grow and just keep growing and be one of the few that survive, you know, because it's real and uncut and clean content. So we just honest people just trying to find a way, find a niche, find our niche. Because um, something that we like doing. So 
We pray that it prevails. God got it. God got us. God got you guys. Till next time.